This video is brought to you by the Farmer Klein YouTube channel. Be sure to like, subscribe, and comment. Hello everybody, welcome back to the Farming Simulator 22 map first impressions video. Today we're gonna to take a look at Timber Valley. But before that, this video is brought to you by Delilah Paxiron and Ravenhawk1. Thank you for being farm barons. So Timber Valley can be found over at the farming simulator.com website or the in-game downloadable content menu. And as of the 1.0 release, this map is available for PC players only. Let's read a little bit of the description. This map is a simple logging map and there is a collectible of Alpine cheeses. This map was a third party mod in FS19, but I have converted it to the FS22 for the Giants mod up. This map includes a ship port to sell all of your products, a small farm, one field, but you can create new fields as you should so wish. This map is precision farming ready and the map holder hopes you enjoy the map and good luck finding the collectibles. Let's go ahead and load on in. You're gonna use the mods that we typically use when we take a look at maps that is additional field info, additional game settings, field lease, field calculator, and precision farming. Let's go ahead and load the map log up. And as the map loads on in, I will say that if you load this map up in farm manager mode, which quite frankly is the mode that I would suggest loading this map up in because of an interesting caveat that deals with the lands, the viable lands on this map. There's only one viable land, and that is the entirety of the map. And while you do start out by owning all of the map in new farm mode, as we're about to show, you only start out with $100,000. In farm manager, you're going to start with $1.5 million. You're going to burn a little bit of that in buying the entire map. And guess what? You're then going to have a fair chunk of change because everything that you see here, as far as starting machinery and the starting farm, is available in all play modes. So why not start in new farm mode, or sorry, in farm manager mode, where you'll have more money to be more flexible. Let's go ahead and take a look at the PDA. And we'll zoom on out here. And this is a little bit smaller than a standard size map. We do have all the crop types available to us in Farm Sim 22 on the map. And we take a look at the land, you'll see that, well, we own the entirety of the map all 1,000 acres in size, $125,829 to buy the entirety of the map. So like I said, in Farm Manager, where you have $1.5 million, you burn up 126,000 of that to buy the entirety of the map. You also start with all of your starting machinery. You've got a nice chunk of change to further expand your machinery options. Let's just confirm that we go to the farmland lease screen. And there you go. We have one viable farmland, 419 and a half hectares in size, $125,829. There's no real need to go to the field calculator screen, but of the one field that does exist on the map, it is 1.25 hectares in size. Now, if we take a look at the soil map, don't really need to because, well, not a lot is going to be exposed. This map is using the alpine soil map that is included with the precision farming mod. Come down here, take a look at our crop counter. We do have the standard base game crop counter available on the map. And if we look at our prices screen, you will see that we do indeed have the ability to sell each and every crop that we could potentially grow on this forestry map at the Timber Valley port sell point. We also have the ability to sell eggs, wool, and milk, wood chips, silage, hay straw, and grass also down at that sell point. And then we take a look at our production, all of the production items that we can make as a result of the base game productions are also available for sale down at Timber Valley Port. We do not have the ability to buy bulk lime, but we do have the ability to sell our stones also down at Timber Valley Port. We do start out with a decent list of starting equipment. Given the fact that this is a forestry map, I think we start out with a fairly decent list of farming equipment. And we also start out with some forestry equipment. All of it is new. None of it is owned or no, sorry. None of it is leased and it is all owned at the start. We do not have any animals built into the map. We do not have any contracts because there are no fields that we do not own. We own the entirety of the map. We do not own any production chains at the start. And we do have 12 cheese slices available 
to collect on the map. Those are the Erlengrot cheese slices. Let's go ahead and take a look at our starting equipment. We started with the Steyr 8150 small tractor, the John Deere 6250R, and the 60, sorry, a pair of 6250R tractors. We have the Man TGS 18500 4x4 semi. We have the John Deere T560 harvester that is paired up then with the 625X grain header. We also have the Nardi N40BX header trailer. We have the Komatsu 931XC tree harvester and the Komatsu 875 forwarder. We have the 2017 pickup truck, the Branter Z18051 slash 2 XXL Power Flex, a pair of those. We have our Vector 570 Cultivator, our TerraSim C6F Cedar. We have the Load King Reowned Drop Deck Trailer. And then that is all of our starting equipment. There are no modded vehicles or pieces of machinery that are a part of this particular map because there's none showing up here in mods or DLCs. And with that, let's go ahead and do a little bit of a farm tour. This is where we start out in Farm Manager and start from scratch. We have our farmhouse. We have a fuel station located right there. The land's a little bit wonky here. You might want to come through here with a smoothing tool and smooth things out. We have a base game farm silo, so we were dumping fill pipes there. And then we have this open shed or a set of open sheds that are covering all of our machinery now with respect to can the farm be customized well everything can be sold except this set of sheds so we can sell our silo we can sell our fuel we can sell our farmhouse those are all base game fs22 things what we can't sell is this shed here so the map was so close to getting a full Point with respect to can the farms be customized except for the fact that we cannot sell this shed well, let's go ahead and take a look at our build mode and we do not have any custom sheds that are a part of the map nor do we have silos silo extensions containers tools or farmhouses in fact all the production selling points greenhouses orchards and generators all of the animals are all a base game as well as all of the decorative bits. So let's go ahead and get down here to our painting textures. We do have the ability to paint a few additional textures. Our animal mud, our asphalt, our concrete, dirt, forest ground, grass, gravel, and rock. Those are our paintable textures. We have our Erlengrot trees here. So we have the willows. And then we have our Erlengrot grass textures and other plants also associated. We have our mud. Forest ground. Grass. Of course our gravel. And our rock. So with respect to buildings where appropriate are using the new texture technique to provide a 3D look and ground textures also using this technique. The ground textures are definitely using this technique. And I'll go ahead and give you the breakdown. We're going to go ahead and rule that yes, the building, the sorry, the buildings. Yeah, yes, the buildings are indeed using the new texture technique. There might be one building that isn't. And I'm not going to go ahead. Well, the shed definitely is not using it. But I'm not going to go and knock a point off just or a part of a point off just because this shed here isn't using the new technique when pretty much everything else on the map is. So let's go ahead and kind of get set up. We'll do a fly around the map. We're not going to drive around the map because, quite frankly, there's only really two points of interest with respect to triggers. We have the dealership and then we have the port. Then the rest of the map is all just forestry. Let's get a little bit of altitude here and do our 360 look. 
So here we have the soul field on the map that is pre-placed. But there is an ample amount of space over here to the west of the farm. That is, I guess, supposed to be set up as cleared forest. So you could go in here right away and start carving up this area to make some fields out of this. In addition, you could put placeable items down here. So while the map does not include any base game productions built into the map, or productions at all built into the map for that fact, we do have areas that we could put things down as far as production goes. So we are going to give the map a full point with respect to having production built in or areas set aside for such. When we get down here to the dealership, and especially down here to the port, I think you're going to find that there are areas that we could put production down if we wanted to. Here we have our forestry equipment, kind of pre-staged. As well as our semi. And I repeat, as I said earlier, in Farm Manager, all of the starting machinery is on the map. That is, in my opinion, if you're going to play this map, the probably the preferred play mode because you're going to have the most money at the start. You're going to be able to easily buy the entire map and then you're still going to have a good chunk of change to further enhance your starting fleet. So we have our vehicle shop here. We have our maintenance trigger. And as I said, we got a decent amount of area here for putting something down. I'm going to go ahead and get the Mahindra just so we can see where it spawns in at. Where does it spawn in it? That is a very valid question. Well, it spawns down here at the port. By God. So there you go. We have a huge amount of area over here at the dealership because that's not where your vehicles spawn. I was wanting to see how much of this area was reserved for vehicle equipment. Well, none of it is reserved for vehicle equipment. So we can put all of this we can put down as far as production goes. Let's go ahead and take a look and try to put down one of our biggest production buildings. It is the cereal factory. We can see how much room it takes. And we can put multiple cereal factories here if we wanted to. So we got a pretty good chunk of area here to put down our production. If we continue on down the road, we're going to make our way over to the port. And that's where we're going to find all of the other interesting triggers. We have our cheese podium. So this is where all of the cheese slices are going to appear as we find them. And lo and behold, right down there at the bottom. Whoa, one of our cheese slices. So we only have 11 more to find. Down here at the port, we have a log sell point because, well, what would a forestry map be without a, the ability to sell log? So we have our log sell point right there. We have our sell wood trigger. As I said, there's no production built in. So we don't have a sawmill built in. And I thought, well, that was interesting. How do we have a forestry map with no sawmill? Well, we can put our own sawmill down, but we don't need a sawmill to sell our logs. We can sell them over here, which I like because we've also seen Forestry, ma forestry maps where all we, all we have is a production buy point for a sawmill. And if you buy that, then you're only going to be able to make planks with your logs. And that's going to somewhat limit how fast you can earn your money. So here we have the sole sell point down here. This is where we're going to bring our grain crops and our productions. And then we have our animal dealer located over here do not have any animal pins so therefore we can't buy any animals and there you have your vehicle spawn point and that for the most part is all of the pertinent parts of the map the rest of the map is as you can see forestry and the map's relatively flat you can come in here at least the southern part of the map is relatively flat so you come through here and clear out a bunch of trees just like that area west of the main farm, 
and get started with clearing some farmland and having your go at that. So let's run down the pri the scoring of the map. We're going to get the map at full point with respect to production built in or areas set aside for such. I think we've got a decent area set aside for production down at the vehicle shop. We have some areas that we could put production down at the port. And of course, well, you can put production anywhere on the map that you have enough space because we do own the entirety of the map in new farmer mode. We are going to get the map at full point with respect to having built-in sell points for all the base game pro crops, production outputs, and animal outputs. While we have predominantly a forestry map here, we can indeed sell anything and everything that we could make base game on this particular map. So we are going to give the map a full point there. We're going to knock the map half of a point of the four things at the starting farm the sheds the multiple sheds can't be sold so as a percentage point that is a fair amount of what is at the starting farm that can't be sold so we are going to knock the map a half a point with respect to can the farm be customized we can sell the silo we can sell the farm trailer we can sell the fuel tank we can sell the power washers. There's a pair of those, but we can't sell that one set of sheds. So we are gonna have to knock down a little bit there. Buildings where appropriate are using the new texture technique. Yes, in fact, I think all of the buildings on the map are using the new technique except for that one set of sheds that we cannot sell. So I'm just gonna go ahead and give the map a full point there. I'm not gonna take off for just one building as far as not using the new texture texture technique. And I do think overall that the textures, or not the textures, but the triggers are clearly marked. Now, just one more hint. Where are you gonna find the cheese? Well, right here. On the bridge, there's another one. So now you are left trying to find the remaining 10. So overall, we're gonna give the map a score of four and a half out of five. And again, the only really thing that we took anything off as far as points go for was the fact that we didn't have the ability to sell those three sheds that are all side by side by side at the main farm. That's quite an interesting way of uh, having trees grow. Okay. So let me know your thoughts down in the comments below for timber valley are you into forestry maps is this a map that is going to be going on to your soon to be played playlist are you going to do forestry alone or are you going to do some forestry and farming on this particular map because well we do have a decent chunk of land that's already been cleared just a little bit to the west of the starting farm and until next time Happy farming.